Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So we all know summer is coming to an end, unfortunately. So that means back to school shopping. My favorite part of back to school shopping is probably buying a whole new wardrobe. So I look really good when I go to school and like the first day of school. I don't know if that's just me, but I love back to school clothing shopping. I did some shopping. <laughs> But I just want to give a big thanks to Shein for sponsoring this video and you guys can use my code it's Emma to get 15% off the entire Shein US site. Shein is a great place to shop for your back to school clothes because it's your one stop shop for all your back to school essentials and as you can tell they have some really good stuff. Today we're going to be doing a try on haul of everything that I got for this coming up semester because I think everything that I got you guys would look really good in when you start school. So let's get into the video. What I think is so essential, well what I usually wear to school is sweatshirts. I know I live in Florida and it's so hot outside, but in school it is literally freezing. Well, my go-to is probably like leggings and sweatshirts. So Shein definitely has like a wide variety of so many different sweatshirts and hoodies. So the first thing that I got is this very pastel purple Malibu sweatshirt. It is so freaking soft on the inside. I don't know if you can see that material, but it's so soft. I love this color. I just love the lettering and it's also embroidered into the sweatshirt. So it's like really good quality, but no, this is really cute. I got this in a size large. I oversize my sweatshirts and hoodies like a lot because I don't know, I just love being like smothered by sweatshirts. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. So we're just gonna do all the hoodies that I got because why not? So the next one that I got is this gray one, the eagle on it. Kind of reminds me of like a school sweatshirt because of their mascot, an eagle. <laughs> but no, I think this is super cute. It's a very light material. So this one, I love to go neutral and my favorite color is green, but it does this one does have a hood so that's why it's a hoodie good i got this size in a large i think all my hoodies and sweatshirts i am gonna show you are all larges i kind of read the reviews and kind of based it off like what everyone said if it was oversized or it's a little bit smaller so i kind of just copy and pasted the color on the other one but inverted them so now the sweatshirt itself is green i think this would be really good to pair it with like light wash denim like jeans and like white converse i think it'd be a really cute outfit this one does have a hood and this one just says new york so it's like a plain simple like hoodie to have and you're just not feeling your best or you just want to be comfy when you're going to school but those are all the hoodies that i got i literally love them it's my go-to outfit to wear with like jeans or leggings because it's also cute but also casual kind of a mix of both. Here's my next thing. So t-shirts and graphic tees are a major essential for back to school. I think this is like something I wore on a day-to-day -day basis if I wasn't wearing a hoodie or sweatshirt or was like too hot. So this one is gray. This one says Brooklyn, New York, and it's literally the softest material ever. I got this t-shirt in a medium and it's like super oversized, which I low-key love because when I wear leggings, it like covers my butt. It reminds me of like Visco girls, you know, when they wear the oversized t-shirts, but I think this is cute because I like the graphic and like the print. Moving on to the cuter side. So some days I do like to dress up when I'm feeling myself or I wake up in a good mood, you know? Um, so we have this like little knitted vest in neutral colors. You no, know, like brown's kind of in right now. And this is like the cutest thing ever. So you could definitely throw like a tank top underneath because this would definitely be in dress code. For any school, you could throw a tank top underneath or like a white turtleneck long sleeve with jeans. I think it's a really cute outfit, but very lightweight. And since it's like holy, it's gonna be like really breathable when um, you're wearing it to school. So I got this in a medium. Here's my next top, it's orange. I have a big like controversial like opinion around orange. Sometimes it doesn't look good, sometimes it does. It really just depends on the day. But I think this top is really cute because the neckline is kind of like sweetheart and it's like adorable. I don't know, I, th I really like the neckline. And then the end of the shirt and the sleeves, have like the little, um, I don't really know what this is called, but it's like, it, you know, it's cute. A little bit more on the crop side, but I think he would get away with it. And I noticed that the sleeves are kind of like flared at the end. So next thing that I have is this plain white long sleeve with a little bit of print on it. It says New York, USA. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with New York and green. It's just a running theme here. Um, but this is really cute. I don't own many long sleeves and I think this is like super like appropriate for school. It's really basic since it's white with a little bit of green. So it honestly can go with whatever, like, which is really important to have when you're 
back to school shopping so your tops can go with whatever bottom. Here is actually not see-through. We all know how we feel about white tops because we don't want them being see-through, but this one's not actually. Okay, moving on, a tank top. Us girls know how tank tops are at school. This one actually is three fingers, like width-wise, so it is in dress code. And since I do live in a state that is literally hot all the time, you know, these are pretty essential to have. <laughs> but no, this one's really cute. It says Hawaii. I love Hawaii. Even though I've never been, I still love it because I really want to go really bad. But this one's navy blue, white, a basic tank top to have. I like the wave on it, and white and navy blue is just always a good combination. This would be really cute with black jeans. Okay, so those are all the tops that I got. So now we're gonna move on to bottoms and like jeans and stuff. Another thing is shorts. So these are actually so cute. They are really close to touching my fingertips. I'm gonna count them passing dress code because I could just throw something oversized with these and no one would ever know. They're so comfy. They're literally so comfy to wear and the waistband is very stretchy. So they're just really nice to wear when you're not feeling like jean shorts or something or jeans in particular. They kind of remind me of like PJ boxer briefs, but they're not. They're actually shorts you can wear out. I mean, you can wear them as PJs, but I like them because plaid is kind of like the stereotype for like um, school. Cause you know how like private schools, like they wear plaid, um, kind of like, Gossip Girl. Another thing I'd love to wear was skirts. So I got this cheetah print brown skirt and it's so cute. So the underneath part is a little bit shorter, but this is kind of cute because it's like see-through and it's actually really flowy. The waistband is stretchy, so it fits really well. And this is another like not basic thing, but you could definitely pair it with white or black. That's what I mean by like having white and black tops because it can really go with any bottom. But no, skirts are just like something so cute. But a lot of people think when you wear a skirt, you're like overdoing it because like, why are you wearing skirts at school? But me, no, I love to wear skirts. Like I think my junior year, like my first day of junior year, I wore a skirt to school. Like my first day of school, like come on. Like people don't do that, but I did because I love wearing skirts. So speaking of skirts, we have a tennis skirt. I have nothing to say about this because we all know what a tennis skirt is. They're super cute because they're like ruffled and like they're like girly. So I got this one in black because it's just a basic color to have and I could literally wear any top of this, but I got this one in a medium and it's a pretty good length and fits really good. Mm -mm -mm. Sweatpants. Let me tell you, these were my best friend, literally. They were so comfy to wear and every single girl wore these, especially in like the winter time when it does get a little chill in Florida. So these are green and it says California West Coast. I just now noticed that, that my hoodie says New York and then these say California and they're the same color green. I could have totally made it a set, but these ones are super cute. These ones are super soft inside, so they're really comfortable. Waistband is stretchy and I got these in a size medium for reference because sweatpants obviously are a little bit different than jeans. Moving on to these corduroy jeans, they're like a darker green, kind of like sage green. They're actually really comfortable. They're straight leg. And I know that green is not like a color most jeans like are, um, but this would be cute with like a white top. But these are really nice, love them. They fit really, really, really well. And you know, you can never go wrong with a pair of jeans. On to these. So these are plaid pants, very unique. <laughs> I've always had like opinions about plaid. It kind of depends on the color and like what they look like on me. But these totally remind me of like the Emma Chamberlain vibes. They are a little bit flared at the bottom. I think it could be a really cute outfit for back to school. Fit really well too. Okay. So the last thing that I have from Shein is this cute little tote bag. So at my school, a lot of girls bring bags like this, not backpacks for all their school supplies. So would this not be the cutest thing with like all my school supplies in it, like my binders? Cause really I only ever used one binder, one folder and like pencil pouch. That was it. Like that's all I used for my senior year. So literally all of that would fit in here and be so much easier carrying this than a book bag. Don't you think? I would be more fashionable too. Not only does Sheen have clothing for back to school, they have bags that you could use as a book bag. They have dorm decor, literally you name it. They have all of your back to school essentials, I promise. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Sheen's new back to school collection. Absolutely love everything. A lot of it was kind of basics, but that's really important for back to school shopping for me at least. I promise you Sheen will have you covered so you look your best this semester. So make sure to use my promo code, it's Emma, to get 50% off the entire Sheen US site and make sure to click all the links because everything 
everything will be linked separately if you have a favorite that I showed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all very soon back for more videos. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. I can't stay No, I always gotta go Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul On the road I can't stay No, I always gotta go